time now for life quakes. What do you do when a DNA test reveals an uncomfortable new reality? Mm, a viewer writes to us saying she took a DNA test for fun only to discover that she has a different father than the one who raised her and her biological father is someone her mother never told her about. How does she confront her family with this information and should she reach out to her biological father? Let's bring in therapist Anna Aslanian. Hi, Anna. Hello. So what is she to do? Oh, wow. What a, what a situation, right? Um, you know, I think the answer will vary per person, right? For this person, I would really encourage her to think about what's going to be um, the best path for her individually and also not to rush with making a decision. I think it's such a life-altering uh, you know, information that she gained. And oftentimes with just that anxiety where we are pressured, we pressure ourselves to take action, you know, confront someone, find out more information, contact somebody else, right? Um, but I think the best thing to do is just take a step back, you know, breathe and try to center and ground yourself in, in feeling stable and okay enough to make the best right decision for you. And that will vary per person. So, What's going to make you feel um, at most uh, comfortable and peaceful with whatever you hear? So if that means I need to, for me to feel peaceful, I need to contact my father and ask these questions, then that's fine. Or sometimes the answer might be, you know, I think whatever they say is only going to bring up more anxiety. So that's not going to really be good for my mental health and emotional well-being. So I'm not going to do that. Um, instead, maybe I will talk to my mom and have a um, heart to heart conversation that will be more nurturing for me. So it all goes back to what's going to be the most nurturing, peaceful uh, decision for you. And in order to get the right answer, we need to kind of zoom out a little bit, do some self-soothing, rank some self-regulation before making that decision. Well, she sounds, you know, angry and mm -hmm. and, and conflicted, she, yeah. and there, I'm sure there's a sense of betrayal. How does she approach this conversation with her mom with, you know, a more level head than all of the emotions that she's mm -hmm. feeling right now? Yeah, um, you know, if the decision is to approach mom, again, taking some time to kind of process that anger and really come up with a script of how you're going to say so that what really matters to you, those questions are answered. You know, if we go into attack mode right away or just that anger is what's presented first, then the other person is most likely to get defensive or to feel uncomfortable and shy away from answering the questions or get upset right back, right? Um, if the goal is to really hear the answer and to get some information, I would really encourage two things. One, to process the anger um, and, you know, hopefully with a therapist who can help you professionally process all of that. Um, and two, write a script of how you would say it. And um, an easy approach would be to really stay with your feelings, right? I feel blank when I found, found this out. What I need is truthful answers. And here are my answers, my questions. Um, you know, so stating what you feel, you know, and what you need moving forward.